this thing on okay hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys have been safe and healthy and great and all of the things it has been a while since i've done a video video and it's because life has been life in okay so i've started a new job i've graduated college um lost a very close family member it's just been a lot going on so um needless to say i'll touch on those topics maybe in another vlog maybe not who knows but today i'm dedicating this vlog to the locks okay i'm dedicating it to the locks um i don't think i did a video on my one year lock anniversary actually i didn't i haven't done a video since like it's been a while so anyway without further ado let's just go ahead and get into this um today i'm just gonna touch on First of all, where I'm at in this journey, some new products that I've been trying, what I love, what I hate, what I've learned. Um, and yeah, just, just give me all, all the updates, okay? So as you can see, my hair has gotten visibly longer. Um, it's gotten super long. I'm really in awe at how long it's gotten. And I'm setting up doing this video. My intentions were to do it outside, but it's hot as Hades. And my dog is running around. Carson is running around. I can't focus. So I'm in my parents' bathroom. We're just going to film it in here, okay? Plus the lighting is pretty good. So um, so I am. I will be 17 months locked this month, on the 19th of this month, um, which is a little over a year, about a year and a half, some somewhere around there. Um, and it's been great. The journey has been great. Um, I've done a lot of self-discovery, still tapping into that in different aspects, but the locks have helped tremendously with that. Um, it's still a hairstyle that I love and embrace every single day. Um, they have dropped a lot. Um, they have budded a lot. They are retaining length. They're, they're doing their thing. My color is growing out. Um, and while we're on that topic, I guess I'll touch on that first. So I've been debating on if I wanted to dye my locks. Um, and the conclusion that I've come to ultimately is no. Um, I want my locks to stay in the best healthy state that they can possibly be in. Not saying that professionals that know how to dye hair can't keep them that way. But I'm just not comfortable with it yet. Don't know if I ever will be. But for right now, I'm just going to keep my natural hair color. And kind of just let my hair do its thing. Let them grow out towards the ends. As you can see, there's like a little color left, but not much. They are, the color is sweet, okay? Um, it's something I've been going back and forth on for a while because my birthday is next month. And I'm like, well, I want a new change or something with my hair. But ultimately, y'all, like, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Um, I like my hair, the color it is now, it's natural state. And I'm going to just keep it that way. That might change, but for now... That's, that's what we're doing, okay? Um, as far as retwist, so I've been extending my appointments a little longer, I shall say. Uh, my last retwist, I went eight weeks, and so um, that was purposely. I had to get creative with some style. Um, the new growth was immaculate, and I'm just like trying to find different things to like do with my hair. Um, so I'm challenging myself to go longer without retwist um which has been going pretty good now my next retwist is on the 20th of this month and that's because my lock fishing will be out of commission for the entire month of october i'm not prepared for that but <laughs> i'm excited to see the growth i'm excited to see what happens um as you can see my dog just snuck his way back in the house and so i'm just like going on y'all but um so i'm excited to see <laughs> how I maintain and how I manage my hair throughout that long that long period. Um, I do plan on getting it retwisted again maybe right before Thanksgiving so that's going to be about a two month window um, about eight, nine weeks so super excited to see where that takes me. Um, with that being said, my last retwist stretch um, I did end up going out with one of my best friends for her birthday and I was like, I want to do something different with my hair. Like I want to pull it up. And so, um, I went and I YouTubed a lot of different products that people use for their locks as far as for smoothing and holding. And I ran across this. 
Um, so if you know me, I do use Cream of Nature to wash um, my hair, shampoo, and condition, and it does great with my locks. Um, so I found the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Max Maximum Hold Styling Snot. That's a tongue twister. This is what it looks like. Got it from my local beauty supply. I'm going to go ahead and do my little quick review. It was only $5. Um, the smell, immaculate. Okay, if you use their product, shampoo, it smells just like that. The texture is, it's real light, just snotty. Like, it, it's got a good hold. Um, I loved it. It really helped, held my hair in place for the time that I did go out. Um, the only thing was, is when I woke up the next morning, like, everything that we had smoothed up was, like, white. I don't like products that leave residue, so, um, I did end up having to, like, wash my locks out. I'm sure there's another way to get around that, um, but great hold for my hair. Um, my hair is real soft and real curly, so it tends to just fall out of styles. Um, but this was really good. Um, it did hold all night through sweat. Through, we, we went through a series of events that night, y'all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold y'all. It was a lot. But, um, <laughs> this did hold my hair good. It was just the residue the next morning I wasn't really a big fan of. Would I use it again? Absolutely. Um, with discretion, though, and I probably wouldn't use as much. But, yeah. So, that's good. That's one new thing I've incorporated, um, with my locks for in between retwist, trying to find something to do. Another thing I started using is... A brush so this is like a soft wave brush um and I usually brush my locks just like this every single day and then you turn around go to the back brush the back of them brush up um this helps like control frizz it also helps lay my edges down because I don't know how to do edges and they're like really they're a mess right now because it's so hot outside um but it helps that um, it also helps the lint. So another thing I've been noticing with my locks is that in the back, lint buildup has been coming. Um, I did ask my loctician, you know, kind of what brings that on. She said just it being at the collar of my shirts. And she said it looks more like product buildup, which was weird because I don't use a lot of product. But, you know, I get what she's saying. So like sweat, dead skin, dead hair, everything just trying to get out of them. And it's only like on the back row of my locks. So like maybe these few right here and I can't tell what y'all can see because I'm turned around. Yeah, y'all should be able to see it. But um, nowhere else on my locks do I see any lint accumulating. So that's good. Um, my last three twists, we also did trim the frizz. I know some people are against that, um, but personally we, we waited out to see if the hair is gonna fuse into the lock and particularly these last few times the hair was not so it was just giving it a real like frizzy look so she just went and trimmed that up a little bit and it makes it look a lot neater um i'm personally a fan of it because i know that my loctician knows what she's doing she's been doing it for years um would i recommend people doing that at home probably not would i do it at home no um retwisting methods i'm still interlocking will forever interlock oh my god my camera battery about to die wait a second okay back in motion camera battery died so that's good to have multiples especially when you're doing things like this but um what was i saying oh yeah still using the interlocking method um won't change from that i have no intentions on learning how to do that by myself guys because it's just difficult and i don't have the patience to do hair which is why i went with my lock journey anyway along with other personal reasons that you can reference back on my other videos if you're new here um but yeah still interlocking um four point method still works great i'm still getting used to the the pain of it it, it does hurt a little bit when you tighten but we're just trying to make sure it's it's in place interlocking is not for everybody and usually locticians are able to assess what method will work best for your hair um but particularly that's what works best for mine so we gonna interlock to the <laughs> to the wheels fall off um what else so i ditched the continuous spray bottle because they break easily like i don't know if anybody else that uses those are me who sorry um 
yeah i don't know if anybody else that uses those has that issue but i've, I've purchased maybe like four now and the sprayer it'll be doing this thing and then one day it just clocks out so i now have a pump sprayer that is also on one of my shorts videos um where i listed all my amazon favorites for locks that is included in it um it's great it's awesome still making my own sprays um i'm using more of a water base now just to make sure they're moisturized especially with the alabama heat because it's really hot um so you want to make sure your locks are hydrated at all times um as much as possible um washing i do wash my hair in between retwists and it just depends like if they're itchy or they they have a smell or anything of that nature i'm gonna i'm gonna hop in and wash them i typically only do that one time in between retwists just because anything hair related y'all i'm not gonna hold you i don't like doing hair i don't i don't okay so um i will wash them and dry them and let them do its thing and try to kind of just get them back to where they need to be um i'm now able to flip my hair and for all my lock girlies y'all should know what that means so when i first started my lock journey like i would flip it this way but my hair would automatically go back that way um it is now long enough to where i could flip it to the side or i could you know go back to the middle part you know however i want to wear them and it doesn't have to be manipulated by the way the retwist is um because my loctician will be like well do you want the middle part do you want a side part and before i got to this point i would usually have to stick with that until my next retwist because my hair just was not long enough to hold on another side so that's the milestone we've reached um what else trying to think of any questions that i've gotten recently about my locks um i've learned that locks are definitely a conversation starter um can't tell by my youtube videos but <laughs> i don't want to say i'm hard to make conversation with but sometimes i'm just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know um so they're definitely a conversation starter people are going to have questions people are still trying to figure out if my locks are locks there are locks um and it's usually because the ends are so curly um speaking of ends i do plan on maintaining my curly ends that has not changed yet there are a few of my locks that are like completely locked at the end like this one for instance um i have no intentions on combing it out i'm just kind of letting my hair do its own thing but for the front my hair has a looser curl texture curl pattern so these are not locking at the ends they're staying curly and i love it um overall not too many updates kind of just giving y'all the ones the twos and the threes if you've been with me throughout my entire lock journey you will see the growth is immaculate especially from when i from where i started um if you go back and look at my previous videos of my lock journey you will see how like short they were and now we're like we're like flowing we're flowing we are we are doing it um so they're definitely reaching new heights they're getting longer um i do plan on starting to style and do some updos sooner or later um i was waiting on some length to come in but i absolutely still love this journey um i absolutely encourage anybody who's wanting to do it to just do it um it has to be something that you're mentally prepared for and i was it's helping a lot with self-discovery and i'm about to be 28 next month and it's just helping me align things like graduation and new jobs and just wanting to grow my youtube channel and just want to do all these things okay camera cut off again i guess my memory I had too much footage on the camera. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Is that a sign for me to hush? Anyway, um, like I was saying, guys, this wasn't going to be a long-winded video. I just wanted to catch you up on the lock journey because it's been a while since I made a video in general. Um, so for all my lock babes that's following me, here I am. Sorry I've been absent, but I don't plan on doing that again. Um, if you have any individual questions or questions about my lock journey in general, feel free to comment. Um... Just let me know. I'm happy to answer anything. Um, I'm also on TikTok. Um, and I talk about my lock journey heavily on there as well. So, you know, follow your girl, Taylor Bimbo. Um, but yeah, I do plan on doing a separate vlog about just a few life updates, what's been going on, how I'm doing. We're great. Um, the dog is great, the kid is great, everybody is great, family is good. Um, 
locks are locking um but yeah so thank you guys for tuning in today um my camera is being really wonky and clearly doesn't want to cooperate it's like girl you've been off this camera for that long and now you want to get out here and just do your thing nope i'm gonna go dead and i'm gonna run out of memory on you um so yeah that is it that is all again if you have any questions about my individual journey please let me know but keep in mind i'm not a loctician i'm not a hairstylist i'm just going based off what i've experienced and what works for my individual journey um but i love you guys i thank you so much for tuning in today i'm so happy to be back on youtube um i have a goal oh also before i go before i go i've also started these new vitamins that's supposed to help with hair growth and a lot of other things i just started so i'm not going to drop the name nor give a review yet because if i hate them i don't want to you know i don't want to pour any salt but if i love them i want to be able to give you guys like real deal results so so far so good they don't make me sick um I'm trying to get like my iron up, my energy up, everything is just low right now. So I'm trying to um, work on that, but it also has hair growth benefits as well. So we will see what happens with that and I'll be sure to like give y'all the deets. Um, Cause we not keeping no secrets over here, okay? Especially when it comes to the hair. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great productive week. Um, I'm filming this a day before Labor Day. I'm hoping to get it out tomorrow. Um, it's been a while since I edited a video, so just bear with me. But that's my goal. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.